Hey there, everybody. It's Forward. Um, I've been wanting to record an update for you for a few days now, and I guess this is it. <laughs> um, I, I guess I have a lot to say, but not sure how to say it, so some of this might just come out like just, um, just pouring out of me and hopefully it makes sense um so you may have noticed that i've been kind of intermittently available or intermittently you know interacting with um the community or with social media or coming out with content and such it's been very sporadic over the last couple of months um pretty much ever since harmony con um Things have been tough for me, um, specifically concerning my health, my mental health. Um, after Harmony Con, uh, really, I think it started a little bit before then, but around that time, a lot of things were happening that kind of triggered... Um, a lot of my depression and my anxiety issues to, um, you know, kind of, I guess, flare up. I don't know if that's the right word, but it, it, it got much worse. I've spoken before uh, pretty openly about the fact that I have um, depression and anxiety issues that I've been dealing with my whole life. Um, it's kind of a never-ending battle, to tell you the truth. And... Um, you know, I've been on medication, which has helped me get to where I am and have been able to do what I've done with Keeping Friendship Magic and, and in the community. Um, but, you know, that only helps so much. You know, it, it helps a lot, but it does take more than that. And sometimes in periods of great stress, things just kind of start falling apart. Um, and it's not just one thing that triggered this. It was a lot of things. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, seeing literal Nazis show up the Harmony Con, seeing, um, people in the community I thought I could trust essentially making veiled statements slash attacks about me and my friends on social media. Um, seeing um people just being incredibly rude mean cruel to one another over covid um seeing the invasion of um ukraine happening everything in florida everything in texas You can only take so much before you start breaking inside. And I started breaking. Um, back in March, March 1st to be exact, I um, went to the hospital where I was admitted to a program for my mental health. Um, I was in there for about, I want to say 11 days, 12 days, something like that. Um, it was a very good program. It definitely helped a lot. Um, start to get me on the path. Um, start to dig up some trauma and some demons from, um, my childhood. Things that I didn't realize were hurting me as much as they were. That was kind of making everything else just escalate that much worse. Um... And I, um, one of the things in there, um, my diagnoses have changed, my meds have changed, a lot's changed. Um, so I started on that path, which, you know, was like, okay, I think I have a direction now. And then just 
I continued to see the worst in things. Um, I don't want to call out any specific conventions or anything like that. Um, I think just more things, seeing people on staff for conventions and servers being just mean and rude to their attendees. Um, I'm... Just things kept getting worse. Things weren't getting better even after my hospital stay. And it just kept on declining and declining. And for me, it's very hard. I'm a very empathetic person. I really believe in keeping friendship magic, else I wouldn't have been doing it since, like, 2014, 2015. Like, and that's, I think, what hurts the most, because it's like, I feel like I've been fighting this fight to, you know, try to put some good out there. At least, it's what I've always thought that I was doing um, for years, and just seeing so much negativity going on, um, it just kind of made me feel like, do I even matter? Am I making a difference? And I started seeing a therapist, and the therapist actually made me feel even worse about myself, because um, she was kind of taking us down this path that put me in a place where it made me feel like I didn't even know who I was anymore because it felt like, you know, we were starting to look, she was starting to talk about, well, what, you know, the, these things that are my core values and stuff. And the more we talked about it, it kind of got thrown at me like the only things that matter are everybody else and I am nothing inside at my core. And I don't, really believe that anymore necessarily but at the time it, it hit hard it hit very hard uh, combined with everything else going on and I just I sunk to one of the lowest places I've been in my entire life um this uh, content warning, trigger warning about this, because I'm going to say something and I'm going to be blunt, because I feel like I have to be. Um, I was very close to giving up on everything. Um, and I feel like I was possibly closer to suicide than I've ever been in my entire life. And it's hard when you have the voices telling you you know, shouldn't say the voices, but that voice in your head that just tells you you're not worthy, that you're not good enough, and you'd be better off dead. And it just won't go away. So I was trying to find any way to make the pain stop, um, let alone the fact that I got, um, you know, bills for my hospital stay. So I have like, at least $2,300 worth of medical debt that I have no way to pay. Um, trying to figure out who I am anymore, where I belong in life. And I was just like, maybe this is all for nothing. And I was this close to leaving the fandom, this close to a lot of things. Um, and... You all probably, if you watch the content, you are familiar with Nova Rose. Um, I was ready to just give up, and but I already had an engagement booked for Sequestria Fest, and Nova Rose looked at me and was like, "I really think you should come. Just give it a shot. You know, you never know what'll happen." And I was like, "Okay, fine." I'll give it a shot. Um, this speaks to the power of this fandom, the power of conventions, the power of people and love. I've never had 
probably a more powerful weekend in my life than I did that weekend at Sequestria Fest. Um, it was exactly what I needed. Um, getting a chance to be at a smaller convention and present KFM content and really make connections with people. Um, it, it reminded me that there's still a purpose here. There's still a reason to fight. There's still people who believe. And I know that there's an uphill battle that I'm fighting right now within myself and my own head and, you know, trying to help kind of heal what I feel has kind of been somewhat fractured fractures in the community lately but it's worth trying one of the early lessons from mlp is um from season two episode two where twilight says friendship isn't always easy but it's always worth fighting for and i don't want to stop fighting I love this fandom. I love this community. I love the people in it. Um, you know, I got to meet great people, got to make connections, got to present content, new content even that I haven't done before. And people were happy, you know. I got to help with the charity auction again. And it just... I really am blessed to be, to have this, and I don't want to give it up. Um, so that all to be said, um, this is where I'm at now. I have a long way to go, I think. Um, I have some inner battles I have to fight, but I don't want to do it alone. Um, and I want to fight. So, this is my plea to everybody out there to just say, regardless of who you are, what you're feeling, what's going on, take a moment and just remind yourself that there's a possibility to love everybody around you, even the people you don't agree with. Because through love, we can find more out about each other and find solutions. You know? Like, we have to be here for one another right now. And that's part of what makes life worth living. Um, I, uh... <sighs> so, what's next? Um... So I had to step away from a lot of things for a while. Um, haven't done a lot of KFM stuff. Haven't done a lot of convention work. Um, so I'm trying to pick back up slowly but surely. Um, we did record an episode of the podcast at Sequestria Fest that um, I have to see how the quality came out. I'm going to try and release that at some point. Um I may or may not take off June for um, just to focus on myself um, and maybe focus on convention work. Um, I'm kind of working on a new Keeping Friendship Magic panel that's actually going to talk a lot about what I've been going through um, because I feel like talking about it is how we grow and as people and being here for one another because I may have suffered but if I can talk about it to help somebody else then it was worth it um so I am going to TropCon um definitely that's a definitive TropCon is my family I love everyone there I love that convention with all my heart you know, I thought I was going to give up on things, but I can't, I can't leave my family. 
Um, I... This may or may not get edited down, I don't know. I'm scrambling through my brain. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do any other conventions the rest of this year. Um, it will depend on multiple factors. It will depend on myself and how I'm doing. Um, it will depend on policies. Um, I've put it out there. Um, you know, I've seen too many people in my life very recently, people very close to me get COVID and watching them suffer, you know, from a distance, but still knowing what they're going through, I, I cannot risk anything like that. You know, I have my own health battles that I'm already dealing with. So, you know, if any, any convention, I've said this, that even considers relaxing anything with their mask and vaccination policies, unfortunately, um, I cannot attend and I won't attend. Um, just for my health and everyone else's. Um, so my hope is after Trot, depending on my health, maybe we can start getting back to doing some more KFM content, get it out there for you guys. I still believe in this message. I believe in this community. It may suck sometimes to see people suffering and people being angry, but a lot of times it's vo the vocal minority. We can come together if we believe in it. But we have to believe. We have to believe that there's something there. If we keep doing this instead of this, we're never going to get there. So, you know, we can try. So, um... I want to thank everybody at Sequestria Fest who attended, um, the guests, the staff, the musicians, the vendors, all of you, every single person that was there. I, I'm going to say it. I, you all played a hand in literally saving my life. And, um, I can't thank you enough. Um... So, um, I'm been trying to figure out what this means for my social media presence, what this means for everything going forward, and I don't know yet. Um, I need time to figure it out. I'm trying to be out there a little bit right now because the thing that's really helping me more than anything right now is friendship, is my friends. I love my friends, and I wouldn't trade them for anything, and... You guys mean the world to me. So, um, I don't really have a good way to end this other than saying I'm not quitting. I'm not stopping. But I have been in a lot of pain. So, please bear with me. I need a little time to figure, sh to figure things out. <laughs> um, and I'm going to take it. And while I'm doing that, just please, guys, please talk to one another. Be open. Be open to the possibility of communication, of, of, of progressive change. You know, sometimes we have to even take a step back when thing, things might not always go our way. But sometimes we have to protect others, too. And that's okay. We can get through this time together. But we have to do it together. So, please, um, let's do it. Um, I love you guys. And um, I'll be around um, in some capacity. And I'll update you again when... I feel ready to. So until then, keep friendship magic, everybody. <laughs>